Now to the biggest attraction in D.C. right now. Thousands of people arriving in town to see the cherry blossoms down along the tidal basin. They had peak bloom this week and are drawing crowds despite the gloomy weather. Aisha Khan is there alongside the world-famous cherry trees this morning. And Aisha, yeah, you're not alone. I see the people behind you. Oh, yeah, plenty of them. And listen, it's starting to, you know, mist a little bit. So we may not be seeing a whole uh, big crowd of people coming out just yet. But I know tomorrow's supposed to be much nicer. So, uh, you know, uh, National Park Service is definitely preparing for that. But, yes, take a look around. Um, people are out and about, whether they're running, they're walking or traveling from all over the country. And listen, I'm not taking this for granted. I get to live here and admire this stuff. Um, but, yes, two miles of these beautiful uh, cherry blossoms um, all around the tidal basin. We've seen some uh, brides who are down here taking engagement pictures or wedding pictures. Um, and yes, my jacket was completely planned for this moment. I've come to accept that fact. All right, joining me this morning is Mike Litters. He's with the National Park Service uh, talking to us about, uh, you know, just, you know, you've been busy um, and you've been doing this for nine years. What makes it so special this year around? You know, this year, I think there's a number of things. We're really seeing bigger crowds than we've seen. And I think part of that is it's sort of the first post-pandemic year where we don't have those concerns. People have missed coming down really since 2019 are coming down this year in droves. So we're seeing a lot of that. Weather's been cooperative. Of course, the day we hit peak bloom, it was 80 degrees and that brought folks out. And tomorrow we've just got the... The, the perfect storm of beautiful weather, the iconic kite festival, peak bloom, big, big crowds coming tomorrow. Uh, speaking of crowds, Mike, tell people uh, things uh, they should not be doing. I know off camera, you, you know, your eyes were everywhere. Uh, tell people, you know, what they need to know before they do get down here. You know, there are estimates that we're going to have a million and a half people down here over the four weeks of the festival. So we ask everybody to join us. Be a cherry blossom protector. Please don't pick the blossoms. Leave them for everybody to enjoy. Um, don't climb the trees. They're older, may not be as strong as, as they look. Um, and uh, when you can, stay on the walkways and the sidewalks. Keep all that foot traffic off the, the fragile tree roots. You know, this obviously, this is your job, right? So how are you trying to monitor the crowds and what is happening around here? I mean, you're one person here, but like, how do you try to manage that? Well, of course, we've got a whole staff. Uh, the Rangers are out in force. Um, the Tidal Basin Welcome Area. Uh, we've got some education materials and opportunities. Folks will find signage around the, the basin, encouraging them to practice good etiquette. It. They can get their cherry blossom protector badge if they uh, if they go to the welcome area and take the pledge to help out. So, um, yeah, the lighthearted educational opportunities. Make sure the trees are here not only this year but for years to come. Very good, Mike Litteris with the National Park Service. Mike, thank you so much. I appreciate you joining me this morning. So, yeah, Maureen, definitely one of those things where you know we don't want people actually picking the cherry blossoms. You know, such disrespect to the trees and the, just you know the fact that these are here for people to look at, not to touch. Um, and the other thing we want to mention is, of course, plan ahead. Uh, you know, looking for parking. We're already seeing you know people are just making circles trying to find parking. Better yet, take the metro. For now, Maureen, back over to you. All good suggestions. Thank you so much for that. We'll see you again.